Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be creating the exit menu item. So we could go ahead and add a new class to our favorites viewer tray but we don't need to create a new file. All we need to do is create a class within our web favorite menu item. So we'll call it public class exit menu item and then we'll just go ahead and press enter and we need to have it inherit from menu item so that we can use it as a menu item just like all of our favorites so we need to create a constructor for this so we'll do public sub new so whenever a, a new exit menu item is created we're going to set the text of that which is uh, the caption of the menu item, we're going to set that equal to exit. So once this is created, text is going to be equal to exit. So now what we need to do, <clears throat> now what we need to do is we need to access the click event of this um, menu item. So we'll come over here to exit menu item and we'll open up the events for that. And we'll click on the click event. So whenever exit menu item has been clicked we would we just want to type application dot exit so what this does is it uses application which is um, let's read the description here it provides static methods and properties to manage an application um, to start and stop an application and to do other stuff so it's going to access our application that we've created or our dot exe and dot exit now this is self-explanatory says informs all message pumps that they must terminate and then closes all application windows after the messages have been processed so what that means is basically if there's uh, let's say a message box open um, once you click OK it's going to exit the application so now that we've created our web favorite menu item and our exit menu item we're gonna have to add those to our notify icon so we'll go ahead and come over here into form1.vb and under form one visible change we want to go ahead and access the load event so we can do this by just clicking form one events and we can scroll until we find load so this will add the form one load event so whenever the form one loads we want to go ahead and create a favorites an object of the favorites class so we'll just create it um, inside of form one so that it's not created when the form one loads so we will type public favorites as new favorites or it will do internet favorites dot favorites so we created an object of favorites and what favorites does is it creates a collection of web favorite objects and stores them so that we can use them. So it reads through all your favorites, stores them in web favorite objects, and then adds those to the collection so that we can use them. So we have our web favorite here. Uh, let's go to form one. So we have our favorite right here. So public favorites as new internet favorites dot favorites. And whenever the form loads, we just want to scan the favorites. So favorites dot scan favorites. And now what we need to do is create a context menu. So we'll call it object menu as new context menu. And I forgot to do this um, in the previous tutorial and in this tutorial, but full credit for this program goes to the writers of beginning Microsoft Visual Basic 2008, um, Theron Willis and Brian Newsom. They created this great app and I am teaching you guys how you can make it yourself. So a context menu would be like this whole menu right here, this whole file menu. So new project would be a menu item, open project would be a menu item, open file would be a menu item, and then this whole thing is a context menu. And now this isn't going to take any arguments. So go ahead, put this code in if you haven't already. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, and then if you don't have any questions, move on to the next tutorial.